The last time we talked about the InSight lander, it had just successfully landed on the surface of Mars, and we were discussing the different instruments on board the InSight lander as well what we expected it to do over the coming months. It has now been five months since InSight has landed on Mars, and I think it's about time for a little bit of an update on what it's been doing. So let's talk about that. Now, if you recall, the InSight mission is trying to understand what's going on in the interior of Mars, and it's going to be able to do this with three of its main experiments, this being the size experiment, HP cubed, and the radio science experiment. Now, I have videos discussing all of these experiments in this playlist above, so go and check those out if you want to learn more about the specific instruments. But in this video, I'm going to be updating you on what InSight's actually been doing on Mars, what discoveries they've made and what challenges they've been running into. But if you recall, two of these three experiments actually had to be placed directly onto the surface of Mars, this being the size experiment and the HP cubed experiment. Size being a very sensitive seismometer that's able to detect very small Mars quakes, whereas HP cubed is actually drilling a probe directly into Mars to see how much heat flows out of the surface. But before they placed the size experiment on the surface of Mars, it was just sitting on the lander for a couple weeks, and during that time frame it was able to detect some vibrations. But these weren't Mars quakes, rather this was the wind going over the solar panels of the lander, which was vibrating the entire lander, which means that size was actually detecting the Martian wind, or figuring out how windy it was, or what it would even sound like. So if you want to hear what it sounds like to be on Mars, check out JPL's video of the data that they received from this. But the purpose of the size experiment was to detect Mars quakes. So eventually, about two to three weeks after InSight had landed on Mars, they actually lowered the size experiment and placed it on the surface of the red planet. Then a few weeks later, they put the protective dome over top, and then it began recording data trying to listen for these Mars quakes. And it wasn't until early February where they would decide to place the HP cubed probe and allow it to start digging by the end of February. Now, if you recall, HP Cube was supposed to drill a probe five meters into the Martian surface. However, just a couple days after they actually put this onto the surface and started the drilling process, it got stuck, and NASA announced that about a week later. And up until now, they're still trying to figure out what exactly is happening. Everything else is working perfectly fine, meaning the temperature measurements, the probe is able to heat up, but they think something might be stuck within the contraption itself. They have noticed that HP cubed is tilted by about 15 degrees on the Martian surface. However, both the German space program and NASA are working together to try and figure out what's actually going on. And as of late April or early May, JPL should have been receiving a replica of the HP cubed experiment to try and do further tests to see why it might be stuck. But they're also using the seismometer to listen to the vibrations when it is in fact hammering to see whether or not it's being stuck by a large rock, gravel, or if there's something internally that they can fix. So it'll be interesting to see what they try over the coming months. But as of so far, HP cubed is practically stuck in the surface of Mars. But the most exciting piece of news so far from the InSight lander is the fact that it did in fact detect a very faint seismic signal. Using the size experiment, it was able to get this. And as you see from the video, there's a little bit of Martian wind at the beginning and there's the robotic arm at the end, but that intermediate stage is what they predict to be an actual Mars quake. Now, unfortunately, the signal wasn't large enough to give them a lot of information regarding what's going on underneath the surface of Mars, but rather they're still trying to figure out where exactly this came from and what would have caused such a Mars quake. And this isn't alone. In fact, they've also detected three other signals that were in much weaker than this one, but they're trying to figure out why these things are occurring or what's happening here. Now, they're also hoping for larger signals in the future that will give them more information about the interior structure of Mars. But one thing that's pretty interesting is that scientists are realizing that these Mars quakes are very similar to moon quakes. And the moon quakes were actually picked up from seismometers left from the Apollo missions. 
So they're going to try and make some correlation between what exactly is going on between Mars quakes and moon quakes. Now it's important to note when I say these Mars quakes are very faint, in fact, most of these would go unnoticed here on Earth. They're incredibly small, and even compared to small earthquakes or tremors that you feel here, it would be practically nothing. Again, if you see that video, the vibrations from the wind alone are almost equal to that of the seismic activity. So it basically goes unnoticed. And the main purpose for why they needed such a sensitive seismometer was to be able to detect these very faint seismic signals. So it'll be interesting to see if they can detect some of these stronger seismic activities or even if they exist because they can use that information to tell us more about what's going on inside of Mars. And the most recent bit of news as of recording this video is that the InSight lander took images of a sunrise and a sunset on Mars. So even though the lander can't roam around like rovers can, it's still able to take some pretty good pictures on the red planet. And in some of these pictures, it actually saw some clouds, so that's pretty interesting as well. But with all that being said in regards to InSight, and hopefully there's going to be some more information about the seismic activity on Mars, I want to pose a question to you. Do you think NASA is going to be able to fix the HP cubed experiment on Mars? Or do you think it's just going to be stuck in the regolith forever? Let me know in the comments below. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.